Penny. 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 That's just wrong. All right, let's go. Would you hold on? Before we get to the courthouse, I'd like to call on your skills as an actress. What is this? I've taken the liberty of scripting your appearance on the witness stand because, let's face it, you're somewhat of a loose cannon. Now, <laughs> don't worry, it's written in your vernacular, so shall we rehearse? Do I have a choice? Well, of course you have a choice. Although we live in a deterministic universe, each individual has free will. Now sit down. <laughs> I call your attention to the events of November 16th. Do you remember that date? Darn tootin', I do. <laughs> If the court will excuse my homespun, corn-fed, Nebraskan turn of phrase. Excellent, go on. The reason that date is, like, so totally fixed in my memory is that I had the privilege to be witness to one of the most heroic acts I've ever seen in like ever. And who performed that heroic act? Why, you did, sir. You, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. And may I add, it is a privilege to know you. There's no need for compliments. This court is only interested in the facts. But it is a fact that it's a privilege to know you. Totally. A, a teardrop rolls down my cheek. It's only a suggestion. A catch in your throat would work just as well. But it is a fact that it's a privilege to know you. Totally. Maybe you should put on your juicy pants again. Pay the cashier. Sheldon Cooper. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, Dr. Sheldon Cooper appearing in pro se. That is to say, representing himself. I know what it means. I went to law school. And yet you wound up in traffic court. <laughs> Anyway, if it would please the court, I'd like to begin with an opening statement. The court would advise you to make it quick, as the court had a dicey-looking breakfast burrito this morning and just took an emodium. Very well. Uh, quick opening statement. Like a milking stool, my case rests on three legs. I will demonstrate that I was improperly instructed in driving by a woman whose lack of respect for society borders on the sociopathic. I will argue that the emergency met the legal doctrine of quod est necessarium est lequitum, that which is necessary is legal. But first, I will raise a Sixth Amendment issue. I am unable to confront my accuser, a non-human entity, to wit, a camera. So to sum up, improper instruction, quod est necessarium est lequitum, Sixth Amendment, my milk stool is complete. Impressive. Thank you. Guilty. Pay the cashier. I object. You're completely ignoring the law. No, I'm following the law. I'm ignoring you. Really? I would point out that I am at the top of my profession while you preside over the kiddie table of yours. Dr. Cooper, before I find you in contempt and throw you in jail, I'm going to give you a chance to apologize for that last remark. I'm a scientist. I never apologize for the truth. <laughs> That's my spot. <laughs>